back. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Miranda Achva and I am a stay-at-home mom to three girls and I make motherhood lifestyle content here on my channel. Um, I do a lot of cooking and cleaning activities. I do DIYs, children's activities occasionally, and also days in the life. So if you're interested in anything like that, hit that subscribe button below. I'd love for you to be a part of our YouTube family here. Um, today I am doing a clean out my closet with me. Uh, it is getting chilly here in Nashville, Tennessee, and I need to put the summer clothes away and get the winter clothes out. Um, this winter closet actually holds all of my family's winter clothes except for my two youngest daughters. So my 12 year old, my husband and myself, it is a bit of a mess. You're definitely going to see that right now. I'm going to, yeah, switch it up. This is the closet guys. Seriously, it is a mess. I even have clothes hidden underneath this pillow right here. <laughs> Seriously. And I have some extra things stored on top of some more clothes. So yes, let's get to it. So I picked some of my favorite songs to help get us in the mood. And I'm gonna show you some of my items. Ah, oh, I love this piece that I absolutely love. I'll let you know where I got them. That particular one is a Michael Kors jacket that I got from Macy's on sale last year. I'm sure you could still probably find it. Um, I'm gonna mention where I had gotten certain items in case you're interested in looking for something similar. Uh, if you see something that you like, you can always ask me in the comments box below and I would be happy to let you know whatever it may be. So I need to get up to the top so I can reach and I'm actually climbing on the plastic storage drawers. <laughs> I was a little bit lazy about getting the ladder. This jacket, I wanna show you guys, it is Michael Kors. Also, Sion's mom was in town and she had picked one up and it was so beautiful. He picked me one up too. I'm so glad he did. It's a wool one, super comfy for the winter. This is a dress that I had gotten at Nordstrom Rack. This is a Kenneth Cole jacket also that came from Nordstrom Rack. This is an old top from Express, but super comfortable. That's why I kept it. This one was really in uh, last winter. This is New Balance and it's thermal and very, very warm. Of course, a cardigan, you can't go wrong with that. That came from Dry Goods. These are two beautiful scarves. The blue one actually I had gotten from my wedding from one of Sion's relatives. And the leopard one came from Amazon, the hat from Victoria's Secret years and years ago. I kept it because I absolutely love it. The next three, actually four items that I'm gonna pull down, uh, three of the items are the same. They're just like this pink one here. It's a tunic. They're awesome with leggings and some winter boots. Can never go wrong. Here's a green cardigan. And then I have that same tunic like the first one, but I have it in olive green and a burnt orange. I really wore those a lot last winter and made sure that I took really good care of them because I wanted them to last onto this winter as well. I think that one came from maybe Marshall's. Anyways, um, the tunics and the green cardigan came also from Dry Goods. It's a really good store.
So right now I'm making the piles for what's to keep, what's to pass on to someone else, what's to donate. Oh my gosh, this one right here, no joke, is a maternity top that I'm actually going to let go. I had that since my first I was pregnant with my first daughter, so 12 years ago, 13 if you count the pregnancy. So isn't that something? Anyway, you got to part with your things sometimes that you love. So I hope you're having fun. Uh, I think I hear my youngest daughter crying. So I'm going to take a look here. This is what I've been jamming uh, while I've been cleaning. Let's see if she is awake. If she is awake, I'm going to put her in here because there's not really anything that she can get into that's dangerous. It's just clothes. And I'll shut the bathroom door over here and, of course, the door to the hallway. So she'll be good. Let me see. Okay, so my two, about to be three-year-old, is still sleeping and smutty. Yeah, she's crying. I don't know that she slept enough, but she's looking for me. Oh, I'm going to go get her and bring her in here, so should be interesting. <laughs> There she is, little tiny douche. Oh, ay, ay, ay. Oh. Oh. She's so sweet. Um, this is Smadar. She is 13 uh. months old. And she's going to hang out with us, aren't you? <laughs> oh. Smadar is a Hebrew name for Blossom. So it's perfect for her. And... Super beautiful, huh? Yes, yes. All right. You want to help me?
Mika os Dionysus, Hera, Hermes, Icarus, Na, Na, Narcissus, Medusa, Epasos, Asha, La, 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 Susus, Minerva, Ecobubus, I love it when you couscous. Aphrodite, Bendis, Ka, Os, Dionysus, Hera, Hermes, Icarus, Na, Na, Narcissus, Medusa, Epasos, Asha, La, 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 Susus, Minerva, Ecobubus, I love it when you couscous. Here is the closet after I have gotten all of the winter clothes out. You can actually walk in here now. So that's really great. All right, so headed out of the closet, I have these items here that I kept and I'm gonna give those to some of my family. And I have over here, this is the donating pile. We will be donating those. That came from the closet and also a few of the items from my oldest daughter's room. And this is the winter clothes of mine that I'm gonna be putting in the closet. Um, over here as well, all of those piles front to back. <laughs> and these are my husband's piles here. He'll be very happy about that. He loves winter fashion, so. But I'm going to be trying on all of these items. That is gonna be the part two because I got these items after Smidar was born and she is now 13 months old. I'm gonna be trying on the clothes and then organizing the main closet for part two. So you'll have to stick around for that. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, stick around, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it so I know that you liked it. You can let me know in the comments what you think about everything or if you have any questions for me, I would love to hear from you guys.